Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 183. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 175 to 184. Hey, in Trick 183, this is a response to a video I made called YouTubers Love Excel number 130 Income Statement from Excel Table. Now, in that video, we had a database. Here's our little database. Uh, customers, account, date, whether it's a revenue expense, and then we had a column for expense and revenue. And we wanted a formula that would automatically summarize all this data. And here's the formula we did. Uh, and the, the key to it was the month function because we needed to um, uh, take from that date column only the right month. So we use the month function. The problem with this approach was that if you start entering records into our database for the next year, then this formula will actually be adding all of the Januaries for multiple years, which is probably not what you want. Now, the quick and easy solution is just to copy the sheet and uh, have a new database for your next year, which you could do uh, quite easily. However, if you didn't want to do that, you wanted to stick with one formula that would, um, so you have 2007 here and then 2008 down here. Here's what the formula would look like. Instead of the month function, we're going to use the text function. All right, we'll start our formula with, and we're going to use some product this time instead of some. That way we don't have to use Control Shift Enter. Now, the first test is going to be, actually, before we do that, let's look here. You can see um, it's 1 1 2008. Up here it was 1 1 2007. Now, how does that January show up? Well, in the last video, we, we learned about uh, custom uh, number format. There it is, MMM. That'll make a serial number, which we need for our calculations, look like a label. All right, let's do our formula here, equals sum product. Our first array is going to be that date column. But wait a second, we can't use the month, so instead we're going to use the text function. Text function will take a number and convert it to text with a specific format that we tell it. So we'll use text, and we'll get our column of values. This is going to be an array formula. I click in the top one and then hold Control, Shift, and Down Arrow. And then I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock the cell references and jump the formula back in view. Now, text formula takes the values or values, since we're doing an array formula. We have to type a comma and then the format. The format is from custom number formatting. And we're going to do double quote YYYM. That'll give us the whole year and month. And quote, close parentheses. Now that text is looking through the whole column. Now we need to compare all of these values because these values, if we were to highlight them and hit your F9 key, you see that it gives us a clever way of getting uh, years and months. There's the year, 2007, six month, 2007, six month. Down here it's 2008, ninth month. So that's the uh, new record that wouldn't work with this old formula. I'm going to control Z. Now we have to say, is that equal to text of this? Now this one we want uh, locked going down because we're going to copy down, but not when it goes over. So I'm going to hit F4 twice to lock it in front of the row reference. Comma, and then I'm going to do the same formatting in double quotes, year, 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 month, and double quote, close parentheses. So that uh, will test all of these against this. And only the ones that come out January 2008 will be true. Now, this is an array, so I'm going to close that off. So we get a bunch of true falses inside of the green parentheses times. And now we need to figure out revenues and expenses, because the way we had this set up, there's some expenses and revenue. There's an expense and revenue column. So watch this. We're going to have to say left of this. And I'm going to lock this one, not going down, but going across the columns, comma 1. Now, what is that going to do? Oh, that'll get the R. It'll strip the R out of that word. When we copy down, it'll strip the E out, because that's what our database is using. So if that's equal to, and we'll go ahead and get our whole column. We actually need a parentheses here before the left. And if that is equal to that whole column of R's and E's. So I'm going to click in the top one, Control-Shift down arrow and F4 to lock it. 
So, and I'll close parentheses on that, so that's a bunch of true falses too. Now, here's the tricky part. Since we set this up, and we could have set it up in a different way, but we, the way this was set up, we had expenses here, revenues here. Whoa, we have two different columns. So we, in essence, need one of two ranges. So I'm going to put a, a multiplication symbol and open parentheses. This, uh, we need to somehow either have the revenue column or the expense column. So the way we'll do it is an if. We'll use an if to deliver one of two ranges. If that left right there, if the left is equal to R, then what do we want? Oh, then we want the column of revenues. So this one right here, I'll highlight all the way down. F4. Right? Otherwise, we want the column of expenses. So I'll go get the expenses. F4. Get it back up there. So there it is. That, and then we close parentheses on the if right there. So when we close parentheses, we'll see it bold right there. And then close parentheses on the um, uh, parentheses there to, so we can multiply. And finally, one more parentheses on the end of the sum product. And that's it. That formula will do it. Zero there when we double click and copy it. Oh, and we don't want it there because that's net income. We'll copy it down and then over, and we should just have one little loan value here, right here, September 100. Uh, and then we will type a uh, formula for net income, revenues minus expenses, and then copy it over. I wish there was a way to double click and send it over. Now let's just test our little system. Let's go ahead and change the date here. I'm going to change this back to 7. And then copy it over. And I'm going to point to the smart tag right here and say fill months. And sure enough, there, this is the correct one, right? For two, this should be 2007 then. So this is the correct revenues and expenses. We had uh, one too many up in one of the months up there. This one right here, September, we had one too many. With this formula we used up here with a month, that one doesn't work if you have more than one year uh, in your database. But this formula will using the text function. All right, we'll see you next trick.